Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about abscisic acid. Abscisic acid which is a plant hormone, it performs various functions in the plant. First of all, it is going to inhibit or stop the stem and root growth, notably during the physiological stress. The examples of physiological stress includes drought. Drought is a period when there is a prolonged dry condition or the water level in the soil is very small and it is not appropriate or it is not suitable for the plants to gain it. So in this condition when the water level is very low or small quantity of water is present the abscisic acid is going to stop the root and stem growth. Along with this, if the water logging condition is there, the water logging is a situation in which excess water is present in the root zone and because of this large quantity of water, the oxygen it cannot enter into the soil and in this condition, the anaerobic condition develops. When the water logging condition is there, the abscisic acid is also going to inhibit the stem and root growth. This hormone is going to promote the bud and seed dormancy. The dormancy is in active period when bud and seeds they are not growing. It means that seed is not going to be converted into plant and bud is not going to be converted into flower. So it is going to promote their dormancy. Along with this, it's going to promote the flowering in the short day plant, the short day plants which are uh, present in the winter and it is going to inhibit or stop the flowering in the long day plants, the plants which are going to grow in the summer. It's sometimes going to promote the leaf senescence. The senescence mean that aging. So it is going to promote the aging of plant leaves so that the leaves they are no more green and fresh but they are dull, dry and they can drop anytime from the plant. Along with this, it's going to promote the closing of stomata under the water stress condition. When there is a wilting condition, the wilting means that water level is very low so that the leaf is wilted. In this condition, the stomata, they are going to be closed by the abscisic acid. But when the water level is increased or suitable for the plant, the stomata, they are going to open. The commercial application of abscisic acid is seen in the tree crops. When the abscisic acid is sprayed on the tree crops, it's going to regulate the fruit drop at the end of the season. It means that it's going to allow the dropping of the fruit when the season ends and in between the season, it's going to stop their dropping. So that was all about the abscisic acid. If you have any question related to this lesson, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.